Do either of you think you can balance the budget in four years? You have said uh, previously you thought you could, Senator McCain. Sure, I do. You and can let still me tell you, do that? Yeah. Senator Obama, I am not President Bush. If you wanted to run against President Bush, you should have run four years ago. I'm going to give a new direction to this economy in this country. Senator Obama talks about voting for budgets. He voted twice for a budget resolution that increases the taxes on individuals making $42,000 a year. Of course we can take a hatchet and a scalpel to this budget. It's completely out of control. The mayor of New York, Mayor Bloomberg, just imposed a across the board spending freeze on New York City. They're doing it all over America because they have to, because they have to balance their budgets. I will balance our budgets, and I will get them, and, and I will years. reduce this. I can, we can do it with this kind of job creation of energy independence. Now, look, Americans are hurting tonight, and they're angry, and I understand that, and they want a new direction. I can bring them in, in that direction by eliminating spending. Senator Obama talks about the budgets I voted for. He voted for the last two budgets that had $24 billion more in spending than the, than the budget that the Bush administration proposed. He voted for the energy bill that was full of goodies for the oil companies that I opposed. So the fa fact is, let's look at our record, Senator Obama. Let's look at as graded by the National Taxpayers Union and the Citizens Against Government Waste and the other watchdog organizations. I have fought against spending. I have fought against special interest. I have fought for reform. You have to tell me one time when you have stood up with the leaders of your party on one single major issue. Well, right. uh, the, uh, there's a lot of stuff that was put out there, so let me uh, try to address it. First of all, in terms of standing up to uh, the leaders of my party, the first major bill that I voted on in the Senate uh, was in support of tort reform, which wasn't very popular with trial lawyers, a major constituency in the Democratic Party. Uh, I An support, overwhelming vote. I support charter schools. and pay for performance for teachers. Doesn't make me popular with the teachers union. I support clean coal technology. Doesn't make me popular with environmentalists. So uh, I've got a history of reaching across the aisle. Now, uh, with respect to a couple of things Senator McCain said, the notion that uh, I voted for a tax increase for people making $42,000 a year has been disputed by everybody who's looked at this claim that Senator McCain keeps on making. Even Fox News disputes it. Uh, and, and, and that doesn't happen very often uh, when it comes to accusations about me. Uh, so so the, the, the fact of the matter is, is that uh, if I occasionally mistaken your policies for George Bush's policies, it's because on the core economic issues that matter to the American people, on tax policy, on energy policy, on spending priorities, uh, you have been a vigorous supporter of President Bush. Now, you've shown independence, commendable independence, on some key issues like torture, for example, and, and I give you enormous credit for that. But when it comes to economic policies, uh, essentially what you are proposing is eight more years of the same thing, and it hasn't worked. And I think the American people understand it hasn't worked. We need to move in a new direction. All right. Let me, let me just say, Bob, about, about 30 okay, seconds. But it's, it's very clear that I have disagreed with the Bush administration. I have disagreed with leaders of my own party. I got the scars to prove it. Whether it be bringing climate change to the floor of the Senate for the first time, whether it be opposition to spending and earmarks, whether it be the issue of torture, whether it be the conduct of the war in Iraq, which I vigorously opposed, uh, whether it be on fighting the pharmaceutical companies, on Medicare pres uh, prescription drugs, importation, whether it be fighting for an HMO patient's bill of rights, whether it be uh, the establishment of the 9-11 Commission. I have a long record of reform and fighting through on the floor of the United States Senate. All right. Senator Obama, your, your, your argument for standing up to the leaders of your party isn't very convincing. All right. We're going to move to a, uh, another question. Uh, and the topic is leadership in this campaign. Both of you pledged to take the high road in this campaign, yet it has turned very nasty. Senator Obama, your campaign has used words like erratic, out of touch, lie, angry, losing his bearings to describe Senator McCain. Senator McCain, your commercials have included words like disrespectful, dangerous, dishonorable, he lied. Your running mate said he piled around with terrorists. Are each of you tonight willing to sit at this table and say to each other's face, 
what your campaigns and the people uh, in your campaigns have said about each other? And the, Senator McCain, you're first. Well, it's, this has been a tough campaign. It's been a very tough campaign. And I know from my experience in many campaigns that if Senator Obama had asked my, responded to my urgent request to sit down and do town hall meetings and come before the American people, we could have done at least 10 of them by now. When S Senator Obama was first asked, he said, any place, any time. The way Barry Goldwater and Jack Kennedy agreed to do before the intervention of the tragedy at Dallas. So I think the tone of this campaign could have been very different. And the fact is, it's gotten pretty tough. And I regret some of the negative aspects of both campaigns, but the fact is, that it has taken many turns which I think are unacceptable. One of them happened just the other day when a man I admire and respect, I've written about him, Congressman John Lewis, an American hero, made allegations that Sarah Palin and I were somehow associated with the worst chapter in American history. Segregation, deaths of children in church bombings, George Wallace, uh, that, that to me, was so hurtful. And Senator Obama, you didn't repudiate those remarks. Every time there's been an out of bounds remark made by a Republican, no matter where they are, I have repudiated them. I hope that Senator Obama will repudiate those remarks that were made by Congressman John Lewis. Very unfair and totally inappropriate. So I want to tell you, we will run a truthful campaign. This is a tough campaign. And it's a matter of fact that Senator Obama has spent more money on negative ads than any political campaign in history, and I can prove it. And Senator Obama, when he said, and he signed a piece of paper that said he would take public financing for his campaign if I did, that was back when he was a long shot candidate, you didn't keep your word. And we looked into the camera and debate with Senator Clinton and said, I will sit down and negotiate with John McCain about public financing before I make a decision. You didn't tell the American people the truth because you didn't. And that's, that's, that's an unfortunate part. Now we have the highest spending by Senator Obama's campaign than any Time's time up. since Watergate. All right. Well, look, uh, you know, I think that we expect presidential campaigns to be tough. Uh, I think that if you look at the record and the impressions of the American people, Bob, your uh, network just did a poll uh, showing that uh, two-thirds of the American people think that Senator McCain's running a negative campaign uh, versus one-third of mine. And 100 percent, John, of your ads, 100 percent of them have been negative. It's wow. not true. It, it absolutely is true. Uh, and, and now, I think the American people are less interested in our hurt feelings during the course of the campaign than addressing the issues that matter to them so deeply. And there is nothing wrong with us having a vigorous debate like we're having tonight about health care, about uh, energy policy, about tax policy. That's the stuff that campaigns should be made of. Uh, the notion, though, that because we're not doing town hall meetings, that justifies uh, some of the ads that have been going up, uh, not just from your own campaign directly, John, but 527s and uh, other organizations uh, that make some pretty tough accusations, well, uh, I don't mind being attacked for the next three weeks. Uh, what the American people can't afford, though, is four more years of failed economic policies. And what they deserve over the next four weeks is that we talk about what's most pressing to them, uh, the economic crisis. Senator McCain's own campaign said publicly last week that if we keep on talking about the economic crisis, we lose. So we need to change the subject. And I would love to see the next three weeks devoted to talking about the economy, devoted to talking about health care, devoted to talking about energy, and figuring out how the American people can send their kids to college. Uh, and uh, that is something that I would welcome. But it, it requires, I think, uh, a recognition that politics as usual, as has been practiced over the last several years, is not solving the big problems here in America. 